Hello all, good morning. This is Saurabh Dhani. Uh, today I'll discuss how to apply flow filters in NAV2016 pages. Let's start with understanding uh, what is uh, what are flow filter and why we need to apply them on, a, on any of the page. Uh, consider an example where a user want to limit the calculation to include only those values in a column that have some specific properties. Let's say uh, a user want to sum up only the amounts in a <coughs> GL account for a particular period or he want to f uh, filter out amounts uh, with a particular dimension that you have set up in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. So let's take into the example of a finance operator who want to check the net change of certain GL accounts within a period or within a particular dimension. So Microsoft have provision of these special kind of filters which I would say the flow filters in so many standard fields which are available in so many standard pages like you have, just for example you have chart of accounts, customer list, vendor list and there are so many other pages where the feature is there. So when we apply these special filter we can see the impact of value on that particular filtered range. So let's see how it works in Navigen. Uh, those customer who have upgraded from 2009 or previous versions uh, were quite comfortable applying them in 2009 but uh, with 2013 and onwards it's a bit tricky how to apply these flow filters. So let's open chart of account. Let's navigate from department, financial management, general ledger, chart of accounts. Now, when I'm on chart of accounts, I want a finance user who want uh, to check the net change respective to operating equipments. So, I being an user, I know my chart of account and I can apply the filter over here for the number field that these are my accounts which I want to check. That is from 1200 to 1290. This is a start and this is end. As soon as I apply filter, the list below <coughs> get filtered for these accounts. Now the net change is one of the flow field where we can apply the flow filter. Now suppose I want to see the impact of <coughs> of net change only for the period of uh, 2016. Uh, the entries which are being made from starting from 1st January 2016 till today. So how we do that we go here and uh, you click on limit totals so the shortcut is control shift F3 when you click on this you get one more uh, filter pan which is limit total 2 you can add a filter over here and from here I can apply the date filter which is in my case I want to check from 1 1 2016 till 3 28 2016 that is today I click tab if you see the my net values has been changed in respect to what they were appearing earlier now I would also like to check uh, the impact of these entries uh, only with respect to one of my dimension which is department and only related to the production department which is also available here that is my department filter so I see I can drill down the list and select one of my dimension I want to see for the production so I'll just filter for production and as I sh click tab you can see the impact here so the my impact of on this GL account for this department and during this period is this so that is what the flow filter is and uh, how to use them in NAV 2016 I hope now you know how to apply the limit totals or flow filters to a Navigen page hope you like the video stay connected and thank you